So hi and welcome back. So in the past before we finished the stage 1 which is the missile itself and now we'd like to continue with the stage 2 which is the middle part of the missile. And the middle part, uh, like I said before, should carry um, more smaller missiles which will be released after the launch of the main missile. So uh, mainly uh, in this stage 2 we will focus on this part here. But if I will uh, get some idea how to do the back or front of the missile better, I will for sure do it uh, here and just pick a note to the stage one that just look here and there. So, okay, uh, we are going to this part, uh, begin with this, we will, or I will try to make the cover for this and just explain how I would like to have it. So for that, uh, we don't need this for sure, so I will just uh, hide the reference picture and now. The cover itself should be divided into four parts. So for that, we need to copy part of that. And to start with this, I will just uh, delete the Trubus modifier and let's go to the front view. Now, in the front view, let's select all the polys here. Oh, just the half of them, of course. My bad. So select them. Now, from the top view, I will deselect again a half and also this. So uh, now I have here just uh, one quarter uh, of the part here of the cover for the middle part and right now I would like just to copy that. So hold on shift and move it somewhere. Uh, let's go here. It doesn't matter. So far it will be a new object. You can already name it like missile uh, stage 2 cover. And we will touch this a bit later. Now, <coughs> from the top view I will again select the police, but now I will select everything here. Like this, and just hit delete. So, in this empty space will be our middle part for the smaller rockets, and now we have, a, uh, we have to think a bit more here, because the part should be big enough to carry, let's say, four missiles, maybe more, but I think the four is a nice number for this. But also it should have some mechanisms uh, to release them and other stuff. So uh, plenty of details there. Not so hard to do, I guess. But anyway, plenty of them. And uh, we should begin, I think. So okay, uh, let's select the border here, so all the edges around. Just cap that. And the same do here. Just select and cap. Now. Uh, what I want to do here is a middle part, it will be like a stake or cylinder here, on which will be the mechanism uh, which will release the rockets, and also some wires and stuff like that. Then I would like to place there some kind of bridge here on the top and here on the bottom, which will be holding the cover from the top and bottom. Now, because the cover has some uh, thickness, or it will be, now we have just one poly there, but later it will be some uh, have some thickness. I need to place it a bit uh, the bridge here under the level of this edge here and here. So what I will do right now, I will select this poly here. I will hit inside. Now let's say like this. Well, let's go with some nice number like 35. Okay, like this it should be fine, even if it uh, interact with that, it doesn't matter much. Anyway, I don't want to make this too thick, so just a bit slim, but just for sure let's go with the 38. Okay, uh, let's hit apply, one more time, and we are done. So let's say uh, three times, or better we have here. Uh, new free edges all around. Now the same amount I will insert also here. One, two, okay. And now for the middle, let's say stake or the holder for the uh, rockets, uh, we need to think how big it should be. Because if we go back with this, we can adjust the pivot to the center, just better move with that. So let's say here. 
there should be still space even if we put the uh, place here the holder for the rockets I, I don't want to make them just like small it should be enough big to fill the space here but it shouldn't be uh, too big to not fit inside the cover here so what I will do just for let's say more imagination here I will create here a cylinder uh, I'll try also to do it let's say in the middle so place it somewhere here <coughs> and right now I can adjust the height or the inset which I will do after without uh, losing any any much time so let's say the radius is now two and a half let's go two and four maybe this is too big two I think two should be enough it's uh, small enough but big enough to hold the uh, back and front part let's say anyway it's just like sci-fi so it doesn't matter so let's go with this diameter here so now what I will do simply I will select this one here I will hit inside I will just move it somewhere around this so let's go here well we can do it also a bit bigger why not and the same I will do also here. I will, for, uh, of course, use just a bigger amount of inside, but maybe a bit more, too much, like this. Okay, Let's just check if it's the same on both sides anyway. Uh, if not, we can adjust it a bit later. So it's, I think it's the same. So let's delete this and selecting this poly and this opposite one we'll just hit bridge and we have here the joining part and I think yeah this part is a bit uh, smaller than the other part so what I will do I will just scale that we'll select here this edge loop that and in this view let's get the scale bottom here and just scale it a bit in all axes. <coughs> Still a bit more. Now oh, maybe it's also doing the proportion of of that, but now I like it better. So we have here the joining part, so it's like uh, some kind of preparation for the rest we will do. We will now do also the bridges here, and then we will jump to this part. So I will select this and this the same on the other side now I will do the same here on the bottom and again the same here so I'm just selecting these two polys in the middle now let's say I will zoom on this one here and I will use inside a very small one Maybe yeah, zero one should be fine to bridge this together. So I don't need to have it too big, but also not too small, just like enough. Anyway, th these are the parts which are like dominant there. There will be the rockets, so don't worry about this. So okay, we have also the bridge. Now we need to do here some adjustments. Now one of them is we need to do here a uh, connect. So let's hit connect, we'll use two connects and we'll just slide them to the edge like this, 99 is the value for me, maybe also for you and the same I will do here now, still, still here, let's do here a bit more if we are here uh, we can select this and the opposite edge on this side loop them and we will can, uh, we can do a small chamfer uh, I think this one is pretty enough here maybe just one and also what we can do here is turning this shape connect just once move the connection somewhere here down same I will do here 
pretty uh, pretty the same. Probably use just yeah. I will use also the same value. So just click here. Click the connection we did before. Oops. Come on. Yep. This one. Loop. And we'll apply a small extrude on that. Not big. I hope you you see that. I just want to push something back. Okay. So just to show you a bit more, I will zoom on this section. And as you can see what I did, I just extruded uh, it a bit back. Okay, so so we prepared the shape more or less uh, for the cover and now let's do the cover quickly to have it. <coughs> okay, so uh, how to do this, uh, the quickest way. I don't want to move this uh, in Z or X axis, just in Epsilon, just to move it to the left or to the right. And what I will do is that I will again copy this shape. So I have still selected this shape. Now I will go to the left view, zoom on that, and holding down shift, just drag it a bit. I will clone this to an element, to the shape which we have already there. Now here we can adjust the thickness of that. But I think what we have here already uh, is p plenty enough, or pretty enough, but uh, if you want to make it bigger, just do it. It's up to you. So, in perspective view, let's say we'll zoom here. I will use the scale tool and oops, scale this just a bit, or how much you want, more or less. Maybe this was a bit more than I would like to have it, but. Let's go one step back. Okay, one more time. Oh, this was too much. Come on. Just a bit. No, I think this should be fine. So, uh, we have this shape here. Uh, the same which we have here. We have the same here. We just copied that, scaled it a bit. And now, uh, I will flip that. I will select both borders. I will choose two which I will deselect. Let's go with this on the corner. I will hit bridge and I will bridge also these two. So like this very quickly we, ha we have the same shape but now with thickness which is necessary for the color. Now if we apply a triple smooth on that, uh, as you know it will be too round on the edges and what I uh, uh, what we have to do uh, just some connection. So again, very quick, I will ring this, hit connect. Now, uh, let's find some value, let's say like this. So connect like that, ring again, this axis. Let's go with minus 85, should be pretty similar here and there. Ring again, connect, and also here on the bar, uh, on the back. So ring, connect, and let's go with 85. <coughs> so okay. So we have this shape prepared. Uh, let's apply a traverse mode on that, just to see if everything is fine and we don't need to do anything else. So as you can see, the color is fine. There is nothing bad on that. With nice uh, sharp edges there, not so round, but enough to make some kind of space and to look that there are really four uh, four covers there, not just one which is exploding and kind anything. Of so, this is why we did that. Now, uh, we can turn off the tribus one so far or delete. Now, uh, it's up to you if you will do more modification to that, like. Uh, to place some screws or stuff like that. Of course, to make uh, uh, this kind of stuff, it's uh, always pretty nice. But it's not necessary for here because uh, we have already a, a lot of the screws there. But uh, let's say why not? 
I mean, two or three squares more don't make so much difference there. Now, uh, <coughs> probably right now it would be better to have the screws here on the top than here. But I don't know to have it here and here and here and everywhere. So we just more nicer just have it on one side or two sides. So I will try to make them on four sides. So what I will do, I will just grab one screw which I have here. I will copy that. Uh, I will make everything zero 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 there. I will fix the part of the center because without that, can't do anything. So it's facing the top. Now from the left view, pressing Z to zoom, uh, I will just place it here. And now from the front view, I will probably zoom a bit away, we have here our screw. So let's say here it will begin. And if we go down, it's starting to sink to our shape. So just here we will rotate it to face it. Now from the top view, of course, we can adjust a bit more the position of the angle or the wall angle of this shape should be the same. So if we copy with uh, some kind of step, this one should have it like here, also here, there and there. So let's try that. So I will hold on shift one more time. Uh, I will sink it a bit. Let's say it will be in this distance, and I will make them, I don't know, 20, just to have it, have them enough. So I have more than enough of them, so I can delete few, few more. I hope everything. Yep. And as you can see, I was a bit wrong. The step is different that I thought. Oh, how is this possible? So, uh, I need to sing them back. Uh, you can just use one axis or two. Oh, it's a bit strange. You can, as you can see, the distance uh, is more or less the same. Maybe not. So, it doesn't matter much. Okay, let's place them here. Now, we don't need this one, but this a bit and that. So this is just some kind of extra detail on the shape. Uh, you can also rotate it through another axis and so <coughs> anything else. It's up to you. Okay, so we distributed the screws here. Now. Uh, as I said before, it would be nice to have them also on the top, also on the bottom. And now, <clears throat> how to do it the best way? The reason why I'm thinking like that is very simple, because uh, the shape is rotating in all axes, better in this one. So if I'm thinking right, uh, if I will move pivot of this to the center here. So what I will do is that I will move this here, I will just, just try. And I will flag the pivot here on the bottom. So theoretically, I'm not sure, one more time, I should be here on the bottom. I will try to make a copy. I'm right or not. Copy, OK. So I'm a bit away from the shape. So I will need to place it back, but uh, it's not such a problem. So, uh, yeah, we can do it like that. So let's zoom on that. One more time, I will also delete that. Now, I'll check this like group. And I'll group this selection. I'll affect the pivot of the wall selection, just I don't have to copy that one more time on the bottom. So I'm a bit lazy in this kind of stuff. Hold on, shift, rotate it in your desired position. Let's say it's this one. Copy. 
ungroup. You can select everything here, ungroup everything, and I think, I think the pivot is the center of every single object there. Now, from the top view, we'll just make the same which we did there on the top. So, we'll take them and sink into the shape. Nothing more. They should be rotated well. I hope so. If not, uh, you will just need to do the uh, some modification, but I think that's fine. I think I move this a bit more. And uh, good here is that all screws have the same texture material, so to texture them it will be just one step. Select all screw with the name screw and apply this. Of course, if we'll have to texture every single separately, or even rotate, I don't know, I'll get mad with that. Of course, we could write script on that. <coughs> I wasn't writing any script for a long, but if you know any programming language like VBA or anything, what you can use, or you you are using with your work or anywhere. It's really not so hard. It's probably very simple than rotating it like me. So, uh, okay, I decided to keep them just here, not here. Maybe later I would place them all there, but not so far. No. Okay. So, what now? Uh, we'll make a group of that. We need the group to copy that, and then we can ungroup that, of course. We need to place this back. Now, to place this back, it should be enough to go, let's say, to the top view, affecting the pivot to the corner here, so we can move the shape from the here, somewhere here, and pressing a 4. And it should be positioned here, it should be the exact position of that, like it was before. Now, from the left view or any other view, let's go to a line, I feel the pivot, a line, and to the center, like we was doing before. You can turn this off, hold on, shift, okay. Oops, turn this on, and rotate by 90 degrees three times, and we should have back our color. <coughs> now, you can see here is some joining part, point, it's very cool. And now, select everything, ungroup, nothing to ungroup anymore. And we'll apply to this, it should be smooth already. You can go with two. Or we can go just with one, just to save a bit of memory here. Anyway, uh, I don't think we need more, but we can turn on the veranda, it will be just a bit more. Anyway, uh, my computers in this age, it's a bit useless to use less than two, of course. If you can hand handle a lot of bodies, you don't have to save if you don't have to, really. So. Here we are with the color. As you can see, the gaps between the parts are making the design of that. Like, really, we are four, not just one. And also the gaps between the shape. And it's really uh, already looking that there will be something inside, or it will be exploding or anything. So, the, I think this is cool. Okay, so we don't need this, of course. We can hide this too, so we will ha ah, great. We will have the rest. Of course we don't need the screws here too. So I don't know from the front view we can just hide them. Okay, they are not such a problem there, but anyway for what? To keep them if we can simple hide them like we did before. And let's apply also here to this one just to see if we didn't destroy anything, so we'll go also with two. 
and here we go with the bridge on the top and this one here so now uh, it looks like it's push it inside it's not just like something is going from there but really something uh, or some kind of shape is going through this part to this part here on the back so this is what we wanted to create together with the uh, rest of the things and other stuff okay <clears throat> so uh, my idea, very simple, is to create a smaller missile, very simple one, just like the head, some shape with the wings, some other shape, the back, the engine, the, the soul. And it should fit here. Now, um, if to make first the rocket or the mechanism here, uh, I guess, of course, the rocket will be better. Because, just like that, we don't. We will not have time to do that. Hmm. I'm just thinking loud how to do it. Uh, I think from the top view we can adjust the first things here. So I will make here a cylinder. We can turn this off even that it's not so much. I will rotate that by 90 degrees. We'll apply just basic setting, settings here. Uh, do you remember the count of that? Me not. It was probably a lot. 24 maybe. No, it's too less. But maybe not. So what we need here is this will be the center and also this. So 24 is fine for me. And now... Nah should be positioned somewhere here. Oh, of course it will be like here on the top, but... Uh, there is a lot of space so far, which will be filled with the wings and also the other parts. So, <coughs> let's say here will be the, uh, the top. The rocket uh, should have uh, the same size everywhere. Shouldn't be like goes from smaller to bigger, even that it could. So let's go here to the back. So I'm trying now to to know the size which I can, or which we can do here. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, let's say this will be our size. This is free. Let's go a bit bigger, three and a half. We'll move this because we have here plenty of space. But here we don't. So keeping this in one axis, I'll just copy this back here, and this will be just free. So we'll have some difference between the top uh, or the front and the back. Now here will be the head. This will be going like that. Okay, let's say like this, that like that. Oh, fun. Okay, I think like that we could work. Yeah. Now, just uh, to be clear, uh, we need the clamping uh, for the rockets. Now, we can we could do just one. But the mechanism to release should be at least two to hold it. Let's say it's logical. <coughs> so, uh, if we go with this kind of shape, uh, and this will be the back, between the front and the back, we need two of these kind of parts to be holded by the rocket or by the holder. So, what I will do, I will convert this to poly. Why not? To st why not to start? I will attach them together, so I will not jo not join them, but I'll just keep this like the part from which we will start. I will call it missile small. So here inside will be our color, which is so far fine because we don't need to do there anything. We will just make here just some step and the head. 
it will be the back. Now the back uh, probably will be the same like here. Let's do it the same. We don't need to make anything, uh, anything uh, I don't know, better here or more complicated. But what we can do here is make this a bit smaller. We can do here also the bending a bit. So from this view, I will make this a bit smaller. Let's go with that one step and from this view I will do this a bit bigger. So I'll make here this kind of shape. This could can be flat, why not? Now between these two should be the joint part. So more or less uh, after some kind of shape, let's do a bell here. That's of course too much. Let's do a smaller one. Let's go like this and the same I will do also here. We can do also the same size. We'll do here in set. Let's say like this one. We'll extrude that. What I did. Okay, I know. So one more time until here and here I'll do one more time and inside and if I'm happy with what I see I'll bridge them keeping probably some kind of difference between them why not it could be also in kind of angle I will delete the edges <coughs> sorry and also uh, the, <coughs> the words there and this will be our initial shape. Now it's looking very strange, I admit. But I hope a bit later it will be a bit nicer than it is. So, first of all, I will move these ones here. Select one of them, loop, and make a bit bigger. And also this one. Don't forget to loop that. Now maybe I will just drag this a bit back and again. <coughs> I will loop that. Now from the top view you can see I'm trying to do some kind of shape which we had also before. So by selecting this one here we can adjust the bevel a bit and make it a bit longer. Oops, one more time back, so like that. Okay, now select the connection tool, let's go to connect, we'll make a shape here. So far I will just extrude that, nothing more. Uh, let's go with this kind of size. We'll just uh, chamfer these edges here. So I forgot to do here any reference picture to know a bit more how to look or how this should look. But I'm sure uh, at the end if you look somehow and uh, I hope it will be pretty pretty and maybe also nice. Okay. Now uh let's go here. So we'll do a bevel also here, maybe from the top view it will be a bit better. We need to go somewhere here. Ah maybe also this is fine. Maybe a bit more. And now beveling. So. So I'm just making the cap of for that. Just trying to make the cap for the head. So of course we can 
uh, make it a bit different. We just will collapse this at the end. We'll place here one more edge, or we'll just select it like that. Connect uh, just once. Now let's say from this view, make it a bit bigger, a bit more. Anyway, the rest of this will do the modificator for us. So let's say this head. Uh, we can make it bigger if you want. But, 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 I don't know if the soft selection will work here. Any good. So let's try. Yeah, it's working more or less. Okay, so let's make it like that. It's a bit better, I think. A bit longer. Looks. It will look good enough. So let's turn this off. Details we will do a bit later. But the initial shape of that should be like this. Let's say it should be uh, good enough, of course. Uh, not any kind of complicated. It should, should be really very simple. It should have fly, fly wings here and here on the back, and that's everything. Nothing more, and of course the engine. <coughs> Maybe just to make a bit more difference between these two parts. Here I will move this to make the back a bit bigger. Okay, so let's like this. Of course, we can scale that a bit more, but I guess uh, I will do that in the next part. And there, <coughs> I would like to focus mainly on this missile to make something nice from there. I don't know, I'm a bit confused. Uh, I don't know, I probably I don't like a bit uh, this part here, but I don't know. It looks a bit strange. Here it looks fine. Maybe after applying some modifiers it will be fine. Maybe it should be smaller. I don't know. I will think about that of course, but with the rest I'm fine. So anyway, a lot of details there and much, uh, a lot of them will just disappear after applying the wings and stuff like that. So, uh, so far, uh, thanks for watching again. So we are moving with the stage 2 of the rocket, uh, it's going to be, or the missile, it's going to be a uh, nice and complicated mesh and I hope uh, you like the stage 1 and you will enjoy also the stage 2 and after the stage 3. So once more, thanks for watching and bye bye.